here's one thing I forgot to add. This is uh, what we painters call TSP and all painters, professional painters know what that means. What it is is an anagram or abbreviation for trisodium phosphate cleaner. Now this costs about um, $8, $8 or $9 US and you get 4.5 pounds or 2.4 kilograms. Anyway, it's a heavy duty cleaner, comes in a powder form like you see right here. You mix it with a little bit of hot water and to tell you the truth, uh, TSP, trisodium phosphate, is found in every cleaning supply that you have from sprays to your uh, detergents in your sink to um, counter cleaners, everything. All, all of them have this and what this is just powdered ingredients. Now what you can use this for, suppose you're you have really dirty walls, which I don't. But also suppose that you're in a you're in a house that has smokers and the smoking has got onto the ceilings. Alright. Well, you would mix this up with some hot water, like I have over here. I'm gonna do this wall over here, and so I want to show you. I put some hot water in this bucket with some trisodium phosphate and I clean the floor. But what I'm going to use it for is cleaning this back wall and also right along this edge of where this um, rubber floor dealy meets the wall. And after I get that little bit of crud off the top there, it's just dust and a little bit of dirt, I'm going to caulk it in. I'll put a little bit of white caulk on there and it'll look probably like this over here as you can see what I've done here is I've ran a little tiny bead of caulk and I've filled in these little gaps right here it's just a nice finishing touch and I should have run um, a little bead of caulk right down there you know just a it just finishes the job it makes it look really nice and it's my house and I have time to do it so fuck it I'm gonna do it but anyway if you need to clean your walls or to clean anything for painting, see right here, it's specially made for cleaning surfaces and preparation of painting. Okay, it's what all paint, all those painters use. The only problem with it is if you get it on your fingers, okay, you do not want to put it in your eyes. It's not that bad, but if you do happen to get it on your skin at all, after a while it itches. It's kind of a slippery, odorless, um, oily kind of water, but it will make you itch. You can clean your paint guns with it. You can clean any. You clean your bathtub with it. You you can clean your bathroom. You can clean anything with it. But the deal is, you don't have to go down and buy, say, like uh, uh, four hundred gallons of something to clean the walls when most of it's water and the only other thing about the TSP is that you want to make sure that whatever you use to clean the walls for painting does not have any bleach or ammonia in it okay or if it does now I'll, I'll tell you the reason behind this bleach or ammonia on the walls with the with the residue will react with the paint and turn it yellow it's a chemical reaction so if you do use even TSP TSP does not do that but if you use TSP or you use bleach or ammonia to clean before painting what you want to do is just take a wet rag with clear water on it, clean water, and wipe off the residue, which you can't see or feel or anything, but just wipe it off and let the let the wall dry. That's my tip for the day, and we'll get on to painting. But uh, if you need to clean the walls, which 
a lot of people have not painted for years and years and years. This is what you get. You can get it at the paint store. You can get it at the best place to get it is like a Home Depot where you go in and you can buy a little box of it for a couple of bucks. But just remember after you get done using it to wash your hands really, really well. And if you happen to get some on your skin, it will start to itch and you just need to take a shower. So this is what we use to clean all of our surfaces. It's cheap, it's fast, and it covers a lot of ground. Tip for the day. TSP, trisodium phosphate, painter's friend.